Welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will share with you how to add products on Hostinger Website Builder. Without any further ado, let's start this tutorial. First, log in to your Hostinger account. Then go to Websites. And next to your website built using Hostinger Website Builder, click on this Edit Website button. Now, this is my website in Hostinger Website Builder. And first thing I need to do is to switch from Website Builder to Manage Store. If you don't see this Manage Store button here, this means that you don't have or you didn't build your online store in Hostinger Website Builder. To create it, it's simple. Just go to this uh, art icon, click on it, and you will see here uh, create an online store or something similar to this uh, button. Click on it, set up your online store, and then switch to it or to its management area. This is where we manage our uh, online store in Hostinger Builder or Website Builder. Now to add products, go to Products page. You will see the available products on your page and to add one a new one click on this add products button this new new window pops up here you can select between adding a physical product multiple physical products you can add up to 10 products physical products at once using ai you can also add a digital product a service product an appointment product this one is still in beta you can add a donation product to, in order to collect donations for your campaign, for example. And you can even create a gift card product. This means prepaid cards that can be redeemed for online for store purchases. For this video, I will go with a physical product. Here you can upload your images and let the AI generate product details for you or simply upload and your images and don't do anything. Here, if you go this uh, AI way, I recommend you to first upload a single image of your product that is good as describing your product or your main product photo. Because AI, I think AI bases its uh, text creation based on the first image. After that, you can upload the rest of your images. For this video, I will go with upload images, but till now I don't I don't have uh, product photos available on my computer, so I will create them. Those are my product photos that I will use, and instead of uh, uploading them in this format, I will make them square. For that, I will use this website called photop.com. Before that, I will copy the first image and go to photop.com. Click on new project. Here for square, I will use this Instagram template. Double click it. Command V or Control V to paste your photo. I will. This is good. So I will ex to export your image. Go to, in my case, on Mac, I click on Command, Option, Shift, and, and uh, not A, I forgot, and S. Command, Option, Shift, and S at the same time. This new window pops up. If you are on a PC, just go to File, click on Export as GPG. You will see, or you will arrive, or yes, you will see the same page. Here, adjust the quality and the width and also the height of your photo in order to get the best optimized or the smallest photo file size. Here, anything be in for me personally, anything below 100 kilobytes is good. So I will, and here, make sure to use GPG and not PNG because PNG photos are hard large in, in terms of file size. GPG, click on save. The first photo is uh, saved on my computer. Same thing with the second photo. Export 51 kilobytes, third photo. Ah, 
how I got those uh, little dots to resize my photos it's simple I click on command option and T on my keyboard for uh, PC I don't know what button it but it should be similar something instead of command you use control instead of option I forgot if uh, computers have or PCs have an, alter an alternative for the option button now click on save I think I have now all the photos on my computer now let's go back to store manager click on upload photos and select all photos and hit open these are my products photos first thing i will adjust the order the first one the second one the third one and the variants photos as you see the the uh, yes the first three photos are gold and this is white and this is uh, I, I forgot this color name now what i want to do is to now you, I need to fill in my product title, subtitle, ribbon, and description. For that, I will use ChatGPT or I will get the help of ChatGPT. I will give automatically give it my product photos. Give me product simply info for this product. this so this will be my title the subtitle the ribbon and the description for description here you can use the help of ai or hosting ai to write your description just describe your product in short and hit generate text and also you can add a photo to your description from here click on add media and upload your photo just like that you will be added here i will place it a little bit here you can even add a video to your product description i will add this as the end click on this youtube icon and paste your link here and this is my youtube link click on insert and you will see your youtube video added just like that now let's jump to the pricing section here let's say that i sell this product for 199 and i right now i have a discount to 179 the sq will be for example uh, for example uh, gold gold beats solo it's solo for the weight i don't know i will ask it for weight and variance seven point fifty nine must be a positive all number so i will go with eight pounds here in the additional info section give me additional info section the first one will be these additional info sections are a uh, collapsible uh, sections below the add to back button we'll see how this looks like at the end of this video click on save power let's add the second additional info and the last one click on save now that my additional info sections are created let's jump to the options 
section. This is very important to understand because here you can add multiple options for these products. For example, size or color or anything you any uh, variant idea you have you can create first let's add uh, an option for example i will call it color and here since my this product comes in uh, rose gold satin gold shadow gray rose gold satin i think so this satin gold yes this is the first option click on add new uh, the second one is rose gold and the third one is a shadow i think the photos i think shadow gray i think is uh, white i will call it white white and now click on save and the option or the same options section turn to this new face here you see the total number of variants you have here you can see the variants you've created you can add a second option for example size click on option call it size and fill in your variants for this uh, size option now the price this 199 discounted price is, is 179 in stock and the inventory all in stock here click on or before that let's see what we can do here you can delete this uh, color variant or edit it click on edit you will return to the same window click on manage variants you will see this uh, pop-up window here you can the first thing is to uh, attach the correct photo for each variant since this is satin gold i think yes this is it the rose gold is this one and the white is this one this is uh, useful for the website visitor after he clicks on the variant he automatically switch or the photos oh yes the photo slideshow turns automatically to the correct color or variant here you can edit the price for each variant here i will uh, keep the same or let's say that the rose gold variant is a little bit pricier for example 249 and the discounted price is uh, 217 for example or 199 here you can edit the SQ for each variant. So this I will call it satin gold. This one rose gold, rose gold, and this one white. And I will delete this gold. You can also edit the weight of each variant. And before that, you can show or you can enable this option of showing the lowest price first. Let's say this white is cheap, so 159. So the first variant that will show up is this white variant. But for this video, I think I will I want the raw satin gold to appear first. Just remember when enabling this option, this satin gold will show up first now you can also track quantity when this option is enabled you see a new column with the quantity let's say i have 10 of each variant and for this white i only have white track low stock when this option is enabled i'm not sure what happens but i think you will receive a low stock uh, notification or something i think on your store manager area or by email i'm not sure here let's say when i all my stock is low as three i receive the uh, notification now that everything is uh, correct for each variant click on save and jump to the next section which called custom field here you can enable customers 
to personalize you, your, their products by adding a custom text on it. You can even uh, make it mandatory. Here you can call or edit the, this customization field title. For example, what message would you like engraved on your product? Since we are selling or for this video, I, I, I will not offer this customization option. And below categories, I recommend, I highly recommend you to create categories or to assign categories for each product on your online store in order to keep uh, your store management easy. The AI all already suggests this category, audio electronics, but I will create a new one and call it earphone. Click on add. And now my earphone category is assigned to this product. And at the end, you can show or hide the related products below your product. Here, let's go with show. You can edit this related product section title. For example, you may also like. You can select categories to show your products. For example, just show related products from the earphone uh, category, or you can go with all showing all products. I will go with all products. Now click on save. New product added, but till now, if you uh, visit your website or online store, you will not see you, you this new product because we need to switch to the website builder page, this one, and hit this update website button. This way, your product is published online. Let's view my website live. Go to online store. And this is my new product. This is the ribbon, the product photo title and pricing. And this is my new product page. This is the title. This is the subtitle, the original price, discounted price. As you see, the lowest or yes, the cheapest or the lowest price variant is showed first. Here in the color, yes, the color, let's select rose gold. The images automatically switch to the correct, to the correct variant photo. After selecting white, I see the white and this is my product photos. For this white, as you see, this is the stock, stock information. For the rows, I think plus five. I think because I've, I have 10 in stock. Below the add to bug button, I have the additional info sections. They are in this collapsible style my bad and next to this we have the product photos you can slide your product photos and if you click on a photo you see in a bigger size you can also switch images in this mode below the product photos you see your product description this is text my additional photo in the description this is it this is the rest of the text and this is my YouTube video. And below all of this, I see the related product section. This is your uh, related product uh, title. This one, you can customize it. And this is how to add products on Hostinger website builder. If you still have a question, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a like. Thank you.